Hello and welcome to episode 31 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking yield farming, long-term deflationary and hopefully sustainable yield farming. I'll timestamp the video in the description. We have 10 minutes, let's get started. Today we're talking yield finance, cash tag Y-E-L-D, about $170 per token. Uh, market cap fully diluted is 10 million. Circulating supplies, 32,000 of their total 60,000. 60, they actually have an ending supply though in the distant future of 10,000 tokens. That is the case, or that is the reason it is a deflationary token in that supply will be going down in the future, which we'll talk about. TLDR investment thesis, provide long-term sustainable yield farming returns for retirement savings. Investors can monetize in three ways, through their retirement treasury, which is the new concept compared to other yield farming uh, organizations, hold yield, earn, earn ETH, their normal yield farming, which is stake stable coins, earn yield, and then they have normal staking, which is stake stable coins and earn stable coins. It's a brand new organization with smart contracts being deployed in September 2020. Um, their public to public token issuance was September 7th at $30, $28 a token, it looks like actually on CoinGecko. That went all the way up to $295 in early October. I believe they did have a bug in early October in the code um, that the team quickly squashed um, and handled transparently on Discord, which was nice to see. And now we're back up to 170. Um, going to their website and fundamental valuation propositions. So first off, the retirement treasury. This is their new concept compared to other organizations. We're earning ETH based on your yield. Um, so get a pension with yield is what is there really what they're saying. Non-custodial and redeem it every 24 hours. Um, and one, it's 1% 1 fee on stablecoin staking withdrawals. Um, so that goes to the retirement yield treasury, which then goes to the yield holders um, in terms of ETH. And we, uh, we do have the eliminate, elimination of a governance token staking. Um, all you have to do is simply hold the coin in your wallet. You don't have to stake it anywhere. If you hold yield, you'll earn ETH for retirement treasury. Um, second, you can also participate in optimized yield farming in staking stable coins, earning yield, and also staking stable coins and re receiving um, yield generating stable coins. So the stable coin plus your yield earned, which is, I think they call them um, yield tokens. So for every 1 million in stable coins staked, um, there'll be 100 daily yield rewards. And I think at $170 per yield, it's about 1.7% on, on $1 million. So very reasonable, um, sounds sustainable. Um, their stablecoin rebalancing system really just means automated yield farming. Their governance platform, I'll show it to you here, is empty, uh, but in the future, yield token holders, this is a governance token that you will have um, a say here in voting, I believe. Going to tokenomics, if we check their documentation real quick um, down the bottom, you, we will see that total supply is 60,000. Circulating supply is actually 32,000 per their website. And we do have a reward pool of 20,000 yield. Um, so that's their, their deflationary token supply. Um, we'll look at the Google Sheet later of how that changes estimated token prices in the future. It has a drastic effect between 10,000 outstanding and 60,000. The team, um, here's the founder's Twitter. The team is public and known on their experience, Solidity developers. I think this guy has written two Ethereum books as well, which is nice to see. Kind of an expert in the field. Investment risks. Um, I've got a laundry list here. Smart contract risk, competition risk in DeFi, long-term viability risk of whether yield farming is actually sustainable into, you know, for decades. Scaling risk, um, scaling without yields dropping. That's an issue for yield farming. Reputation risk. This is just look like another yield farming token, but hopefully there's other things like the retirement treasury that makes it stand out from the crowd. Developer adoption risk. Will people build and help yield grow? Bitcoin maximalist risk. I hope that yield can one day support Bitcoin. Um, and if it doesn't, um, I'm kind of worried. I want all things to support Bitcoin in DeFi. Governance risk. Um, there's just future unknown risk of, of, of unknown governance system. Going to our Google Sheet. Um, when we talk about our investment exercise of investing $1,000 um, at today's price of $170, we're going to get about $5. 88, 5.8 tokens. Um, I've estimated just some market caps, um, kind of just increasing all the way up to 500 million. And we can see here that based on the 60,000 token supply and then a 10,000 um, token supply, there's drastic changes in the token price um, of what our investment of $1,000 could go to. So do, I do want to see a token issuance schedule from the organization um, kind of over the long run. Um, I know it's very early days, so we have limited information on APYs and the, and the token release schedule. Um, but do know that if you're a long-term holder, um, 
the prices at which the 10,000 supply token can go if the organization can offer me sustainable yields over the long term is quite high. So potential investment outcomes, here's our four. Failure, of course, uh, selling the third or fourth BTC bull run, or we could hold a stake and just kind of be a retirement participant. Valuation measurements. Um, I want to see sustainable long-term APY yields. To me, that's five, or I put seven here, five, seven, all the way up to 20% over the long run. Um, anything better that, that's anything better in traditional finance um, and kind of matches what you know the top performing hedge fund managers in the world would look for. Um, and I think we can do that with um, robo-investing and, uh, and cryptocurrencies. I want to see retirement products and services time-based rewards. This is a, If this is retirement products and services, well, reward me for locking it up longer. Um, integration with BTC, I want to see successful launch and staking. Um, we are, actually, let me go to the website. Something I forgot to mention is we are a day and 21 hours until staking and the platform actually launches. So we are early. This is an early token. Um, successful token burning economics and developer adoption as well. Lastly, um, have a look at our comparables here. I've broken them up into yield farming and DeFi staking. Um, but here's a nice, good, solid list of kind of the gold standard of decentralized finance at the moment. And that is our analysis of the Yield Finance um, ecosystem. Like I mentioned, we're a, a one day and 21 hours until launch. So we're still very early on. A lot of unknowns in terms of APY, governance, um, token distribution. But it's quite early. Um, it's a very interesting concept with looks like a small but experienced team. Um, so happy crypto investing. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.